What's going on guys? Today we're going to be cleaning, restoring, and weatherproofing these Blundstone boots, which happen to be the rustic brown model. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a quick clean. We're using today white vinegar mixed with water. In that bowl I have there, I have uh, one part vinegar, two parts water. And then microfiber cloth. We're just going to go to town cleaning these bad boys. Be generous with it, give it a lot of love. Trusty Blundstones. These are solid boots, can't go wrong. Chisel toe, classic. Rustic brown, it's a good, it's a good model of the Blundstone boot. Quite enjoy it. It's been quite durable. guys not to get too deep and philosophical while I'm doing this clean here but you know what every scratch in these boots every stain every crease all this wear and tear don't let it scare you okay that's my life advice today don't let it scare you these are all memories memories etched into the boot stories that are recorded be cherished and remembered. Look at that. They look incredible. Well, we're gonna let these dry. The clean is done, very simple. We're gonna let them dry and then we're gonna uh, restore them. All right, so now that these have dried, I'm gonna be applying Blundstone Renovating Cream. I've got uh, an older container I'm gonna use up first, but this is the official Blundstone Renovating Cream. And um, you have to make sure when you get this, and I advise what you treat your boots with is Blundstone product, but this one says rustic. So you have to go, there's different um, renovating cream for the different models of boots. Make sure you do it for what your leather type is. Mine is rustic brown. So I'm gonna be using this. And once again, just gonna be using a microfiber cloth, a different one this time. And essentially, put it on the cloth, and then you just want to start rubbing in the renovating cream. Or, uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, renovating cream. So I get pretty, uh, pretty generous with it. I believe, you know, you could, you could put two or three layers of this on. I'm just apply it, kind of let it dry in the moment and keep on applying. And don't overthink it. Just apply it and let it do its thing. So you're kind of applying it and buffing at the same time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty this container on this one and then open up the new container for the next boot. A workout a good workout for my arms here guys as it dries down and as you apply more you're gonna start to see that original kind of rustic rustic brown pattern look coming back depending on how old your boots are I've had these for I believe two and a half three years going to do is uh, use some of this newer stuff on the other one as well because it seems to be covering it really good on this one. Beautiful. Yeah, this is covering that fantastic. Another side of the cloth, I'm just buffing a bit the excess here. I'm gonna put some little extra love at the back here because that's where I kind of kick off my boots. Gets uh, a lot of wear there, so I'm gonna just give it some extra love. All right, now let's reapply to this one just a little bit. All right, so that's, that's done there. Looks really good. Looks really good. 
gonna let that dry down and we're gonna go to the next step.